Hazard. Hello, welcome to another developer blog for Beat Hazard 2. Uh, today I'm going to be going through the new ship editor and Steam Workshop support. This is going to be a, a tutorial on how to make your own ships. So let's have a look. So now the hangar contains the preset ships and any ships that you subscribe to in the Steam Workshop made by anyone else. There's a few here look, that, I've, um, <coughs> that I've got. So if you want to make your own, you simply click create new ship and you get you know, a, a simple spaceship to start with and then all this stuff that you can set. So I'll just go through it in order and let you know how it all works. So we've got these tabs along the top for the different attributes that we can change. The the main, they have these edit points in this basic section which determines the how the ship performs. The rest of the settings um, are mainly aesthetic. So this, this first page here is probably the most important uh, because you have to balance these edit points and changing these options here will have big influence over the, uh, how the ship uh, performs. <coughs> so we'll start off with, let's, let's load a new image so you simply click here and give it a second and we can, I'll just pick one at random. There's some bits and pieces that, there we go, there you go, I don't know if I disappear there. Anyway, there, there's a new uh, ship. You can, I'll do another video on how to create your own uh, ship images. There's a, there is a pack you can download with lots of pieces in, uh, but I'll do that as a separate a separate video. Um, so, change the name. Cool ship. And the first bit is a scale. So the bigger your ship, the more points you get. Because obviously, the bigger ship is going to get hit easier. So you can change the scale there. You use your middle if you're on mouse and keyboard. Use your middle, uh, sorry, your mouse wheel to change this menu. If you're on um, uh, a gamepad, then you just move it left and right. That was a bit confusing for some people. <coughs> We've then got acceleration. So that's how quickly your ship, when you start to apply an input, how quickly it will move to its top speed. So a high acceleration, it will really, it will zip very quickly, and a low ex acceleration will seem quite sluggish. Um, deceleration is the opposite. When you when you stop making an input, is how quickly the ship will come to a rest. If you've got a value of one, then it doesn't it just carries on going in whatever direction it happens to be going in. Uh, so essentially, you're constantly moving until you put an opposite input in. So anywhere around <coughs> point uh, nine is is not too bad. It will feel a bit weighty. The top speed, pretty obvious. How fast you can go. Uh, bullet speed, let's ramp it right up. You can see that. So, <coughs> uh, fast bullets or slow bullets. And then bullet damage, obviously, this is a simple uh, multiplier. So, two is twice the damage. <laughs> Excuse me. And pickup force is how, when there's a pickup on the screen, it will drag that pickup towards your ship. So, if you have that high, you know, it will suck all the pickups in for you. And then you've got Beams, don't know if you can see that. Two thick beams or four thick beams. Um, so you can do a lot more damage with four. Obviously it costs you a bit. So at any point you can just press test ship and you can just go in and give it a try. And you press escape and you come back. So what other settings have we got here? I'll leave these. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> the publishing options at the top, if you want to save your ship, you have to do a publish work in progress if you've, and you want to carry on editing it. If, if Once you've done, you can publish the final version and that will go off to Steam, other people can use it. And <clears throat> But that's it, once you've published the final version, you can't change it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. While, while the ship is work in progress you can if I'll do it now you can use it in the main game 
but it won't submit any scores to the leaderboard and you if you set missions up for it you won't be able to complete any of those missions because because obviously you're still working on it so if you start do half it then change it and then change something back again it's not really fair you need it only uh, leaderboard scores and missions will go in an actual final version so the, this is now <coughs> sending that data to Steam it's done so if I right call ship so if I click on workshop page this takes you to the actual Steam workshop page there it is that's my ship it says work in progress other people <laughs> can actually see um, Actually, no, it's hidden. Yeah, work, work in progress is supposed to be hidden. You can make it public if you want, so people can try out while you are working on a ship. But as likewise for them, if they use it, they won't um, get any scores. So we'll carry on editing it. <coughs> Firing angles, <coughs> excuse me. These are just all your beams, and uh, I've added, unlike Beat Hazard 1, I've added a, an overlay that helps show you the actual firing positions of each beam so it's a bit easier to see now um, sweep rate is a new thing so if I so you start to get out you can do the sweep size <coughs> and then the sweep rate so obviously if it's a high rate and a high size it looks pretty chaotic so you can you can add a, a slight variance to your to your beams which is quite nice Turret positions again. The, when you select them, this is where obviously there's two main there's two turrets on each ship. And this is where the uh, the the bullets come from. So you can set those quite quickly to wherever you want. I put two in the middle. Flares are just the are just um, a bit at the back of the ship, so you can walk to where you <laughs> change the colour. It's just an aesthetic thing. Engine positions, you can have no engines, one, two, three, or four. So I'll do three, I think that I can position them roughly where they need to be. <coughs> and then en engine hue, so you can have different colors for the engines. And this time as well, I've allowed, you can change the rotation of the engine, so you can have it pointing at some funky angles. And also you can change the size there we go, so let's, have, so let's point that in a bit. There we go. Let's have them pointing in. No, let's have them pointing out. There we go. Make the middle one a bit smaller. That big one's on the outside. Small one in the middle. Uh, quick test. There you go, so... So far so good. The, <coughs> the last part is... Um, you can add up to four missions for each ship. The this is the mission here. <laughs> One to four. You've got complete a track, which has got quite a few different uh, options. So you can have if you the track condition is uh, a way of filtering particular tracks for this mission. So for example, if it's set to none, any track will do. But you can say, I want an exact title, and then you can click in here and say. Um, uh, so I don't know, Blue Monday. Um, so you can say I want this mission will only apply to a, to a track called that, which obviously probably only one by new order. Uh, you can specify which difficulty you have to play at. You can specify a track length. You can specify how much you need to score, whether you've got extra lives or not, <laughs> and some weapon restrictions. So you can say no weapons allowed. Or you can force, say, micro missiles and reflect shields only. Uh, all of these things will change your perk settings and the game settings, but um, they'll only do it, it'll do it temporarily. So you click on the mission saying I want to do this, it will go away in the background, and um, it will go away in the background, and. Um, uh, alter your settings and then when you come back out to normal gameplay they'll get put back so it does it in, it does it on its own uh, if you don't add any <coughs> let's put uh, this one again you can do from a particular album you can do from a particular artist or you can do contained phrase so you can say um, um, you know burn 
So any track that contains the word burn, even if it's part of a bigger word, uh, will, will be eligible for that mission. So you've also got obtain ship rank. So you can say, well, <laughs> I want you to get to elite rank five. Um, for this mission <laughs> and then we've got play boss rush and play survival so I can say let's call it the boss. boss so I can say I want you to get to wave 10 I want you to score at least uh, 20 million points and I don't you're not allowed to have any extra lives and you're not allowed any extra weapons so I think I'm happy with that. What I can do is I'll do publish work in progress. And so now we can look in the hangar to see if it all looks okay. So hopefully um, <coughs> the editor now is a bit easier to use than the old one. And because of broken intersections, there's, there's more stuff to change. Um, and a bit, and rather than having one big menu, breaking it into bits. Um, hopefully a bit, a bit more usable and the missions are less grindy so here we go <coughs> the so there's our new order track Blue Monday I'm not sure the the <coughs> this will tell you how many songs match the uh, in your current list with that mission so I've got zero I don't know why because I do have that track somewhere maybe I have to look that up um, is my elite track and the boss rush one. Let's go and edit. Let's go and edit that mission. I'll change it to. I'll put contains. I'll just put blue. See if that helps. So I'll just publish it again. <laughs> so you can be uh, as tight or as loose as you want with your mission settings. You can make it very specific. Oh, that's interesting. Oh yes, I know why it's not working because <laughs> when I come to do these videos I take out all my own music so I don't get a, a copyright strike so I've only got the music from the game in this version that's why it's not picking up so if I put hazard in instead it'll pick something up uh, publish Yeah, I've only got, there you go. So then you click on it, it shows you the the <coughs> songs that match that mission criteria and if I click on it, it will then set up all the other things in the background like if you want extra lives or not extra lives or, or any weapon limitations, do all that. Uh, the other bit, <coughs> excuse me, you can do is you can switch to advanced mode and if you noticed before, everything was mirrored. Uh, in advanced mode, you can have asymmetrical ship design so you can you can have turrets um, that don't mirror each other so you know, all over the place the reason for that is I saw on beat hazard one I noticed that people had uh, like normally ships are symmetrical so you, you keep things in the uh, mirrored but I noticed that a lot of people have things like a character like Superman and with Superman obviously he's got one arm out so you might want bullets coming out of one side of the ship and not the other so now in advanced mode, if we put four, so we can move, we can move each um, engine around separately now. Look, so it's not, you know, it's not symmetrical anymore. Um, same with the hue, we can make them all different colours. Let's change that one. There you go. Look, have a rainbow effect. And the same with the scale and the rotation. They can all be at funny angles. But that's that's something that most people probably won't, would would use. But and if you switch back to basic, it'll automatically um, mirror everything for you. But it does remember it. So if you switch back again, uh, it will it will keep your asymmetric design. So when you finish, let's make that a bit more sensible. Um, let's bring it in a bit. So when you're happy with your ship, you do publish final version. 
and it says ask for confirmation at this point that's it then goes off to steam and you can start then scoring with this ship and attempting the missions and so can other people who are subscribed to it um, and that's it then then you can't edit it anymore when it's done and you, if you want to you can go away and delete it if you want to um, <coughs> for whatever reason get rid of it so call ship Some, no, there we go. don't know why sometimes it takes a while all the time it's quite quick there you go there's my finished ship so it's pretty pretty simple to create ships and and um, and share them uh, <coughs> and there we go I'll do uh, another video on how to create a ship in Photoshop with the ship pack that I've got um, do that in a separate video though so thanks for watching hope that's useful if you've got any questions about how the ship editor works or have missed something let me know in the comments uh, and I'll see you again soon.